My name is Chris Haw, and I'm a professor of theology at the University of Scranton. And I'm an author of two books, Jesus for President and From Willow Creek to Sacred Heart. I first started reading about Gerard about a year or two uh, into attending Catholic liturgy. I saw him in the footnotes of William Kavanaugh's Torture and Eucharist, where Bill Kavanaugh talks about how attending and being a part of and doing Eucharist is, is something of like a counter action to uh, t torture and state terror, that the Eucharist is centered upon a victim, the way in which state torture, as he saw in, in Pinochet's Chile, um, is also centered upon a victim, but there's something in the Eucharist that is attending to the innocence and the, um, and the truth of the victim against all of the ways in which worldly power um, sort of covers over and silences the voices of victims. So it was there through Kavanaugh's Torture and Eucharist that I started to learn about different ways of interpreting what it is that we're seeing in the crucifixion, what it is that we're seeing in celebrating this broken body and shed blood of the divine victim. So it was partly through learning about that as a way to interpret liturgy as a commentary on scapegoating that I started to pick up Gerard. Um, but Gerard also really started to help me tie in a more evolutionary or Darwinistic way of interpreting Christian faith. Um, for myself and like many other people, um, there's no easy connection in our minds between evolution and um, Christian faith. But Gerard really introduced a clear way of thinking in terms of natural selection and that we evolved in a very contingent way through even mistakes and errors. And that our biggest mistake and error is kind of having evolved down this path in which scapegoating is almost like a cultural intuitive habit for a lot of us. And um, his theory kind of helped me integrate how that could be made as a biological and an anthropological observation. But it also is something that beckons for um, a deep solution, something that attends to how radically um, mistaken we are as a species. Um, and that theory kind of helped me think through um, all of the phenomenon in which humans become violent in a way that we know not what we do, whether it's in Auschwitz or things like the Stanford prison experiment or um, racism that is just woven into our fabric of our society, our history of lynching and slavery. Mimetic theory sort of helped me see that Christianity is not just offering spiritual or abstract ideas, it's giving us anthropological commentary on our violence.